everybody to a brand new special episode of Jumpers Jump. It's the Halloween episode. Yeah, I have to act like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they don't talk? You Welcome. speak Korean, fam. <laughs> hey, do your best impression. Welcome to the Squid Game. Your don't talk to game. your superior. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk until, uh, unless I tell you to. The second game, Dalgona. <laughs> That'll go to bro. <laughs> no, no cap. You, you know, um, you know the the freaking what's it called, Pope Run. Oh, if yeah? they did the Filipino one with Pope Run, <laughs> try not not to break that shit apart. You know, you know, open the wrapper oh, and yeah, try to yeah. eat it. It should be no. It's like try to eat it without shit falling out your mouth, like the yeah. dust. <laughs> Automatic can, loss. Can you eat that no bev? A life, oh, f- oh my god. All right, so we got a bunch of spooky stuff we're gonna talk about today. Yes, sir. I have bear stories actually. I have bear stories for you. Okay, well, before we do, let's just warm it up, fam. Okay. We gotta be like, yo, what's your most favorite Halloween memory or some shit like that? Most favorite Halloween memory? Yeah. Shit. I think one of my favorites uh-huh. was dressing up as Spider Man. Just because, mm-hmm. like, I love Spider Man so much. Yeah. I think I was Spider Man like five years in a row. I swear to God. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you, that. you just reused it? Yeah. The, the muscle one too. Yeah. It, had to, it had to be oh, the muscle one. The muscle one? No, yeah. I remember my favorite one was definitely the Rey Mysterio. Because I had the mask. That's fine. I had the mask and I had the spinning chain. Oh, that's sick. Yo, that's and sick. Do, do you remember in elementary school when like before announcements, all the little kids would go and walk around the halls and show their, their costumes? Oh, like the yeah. parade type yeah, of thing? Yeah. All, the, all the grade eights would gas me and I was like, yeah. Because you're Rey Mysterio, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Rey Mysterio is hard. I think one of the funniest shit I ever seen was um somebody dressed up as an Oreo, bro. It's my cousin. My cousin dressed up as an Oreo. <laughs> what? He just put two black like things. <laughs> it's like it's like an Oreo costume, an Oreo no. cookie costume, and he had like a cream on his head. <laughs> what? The f- That's goaded. That's like the perfect last minute one. It's like it's like a Jimmy Neutron swirl, but it's white. Yeah, facts. Cause like right now, like what's your last minute costume? If if all these guys are about to go to a Halloween party, well, what's your last minute like? Last minute costume? Like oh, you don't have that Fam, much resources. The classic, the classic like tarp over your body. The ghost, the the ghost, the ghost. Yo, honestly, I never seen that before. But yeah. if somebody pulled that off in person, that'd be sick. Yeah, just cut out eyes, and you're kind of you're kind of blessed still. Oh, you know why though? Why? Because it looks like it looks like you're a clansman. <laughs> Oh, you're right. That's why. That's yeah, why. you can't. You're going to be fucking called racist at the party. Type yeah, that, I think that's a Dave Chappelle joke, actually. Oh, somebody, somebody dressed up as a ghost, but yeah. like they look like a Klansman. I seen I seen Dave Chappelle's um, new comedy skit. Yeah. I mean, his show. Yeah. Oh, my God. The, the cancellation on that, but you still can't. You I still know. can't cancel. You him. can't cancel the goat, fam. Yeah, facts. Because honestly, when when you're when you're solidified in that spot, you're grandfathered in. You can say whatever you want, bro. Honestly, <laughs> 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 this guy's getting hot. It's hot. <laughs> This guy's head look like. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Say it, fam. <laughs> nah, you just look look up his sauce. Hey, yo. <laughs> what? No, I remember like in the Squid Game, they kill you if you if you take off your mask, lie. Right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'd be dead, fam. The shock belt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chill, chill. But I remember um, one of my um first Halloween moments, like the first time I went out, right? Mm-hmm. It was my neighbor's place that I went to. So yeah. I'm like, I'm all happy and shit. It's like my first time going out. And then I, I go up and knock a, and ring the doorbell. Mm-hmm. No one's there, right? So I stand outside and the garage slowly opens, right? Oh, and shit. And there's smoke coming out of the garage. That's sick, that's Bro, sick. Bro, it comes out and there's a guy in a Frankenstein mask. Yeah. And he's like, boo. And I ran, <laughs> it was like, I had five minutes of Halloween. That was it. Word, I yeah. went back in. I was like, mom, I don't want to go anymore. I've never been scared like that, to be honest. I've never been scared like that. <laughs> I think the only time, no, no, when I was like three years old, right? Yeah. I remember this was like my cousins, they had a they had a haunted house in their basement. Oh, man. They made their own haunted house, bro. Yeah. And they knew I was scared already because I was like that kind of shyish kid at the time. Yeah. One of my cousins dressed up as like a monster, like a, it's like a demonic monster. I, I don't, I have to show the picture, <laughs> yeah. but it's fucked as yeah. Right, and long hair, everything. Oh, my God. So I walk downstairs, bro, and we go through the, the haunted mansion mm-hmm. or the haunted room. And they, they target me, bro. Nah, <laughs> they target yeah. me. It's over. I started crying for the rest of the night. No. For the rest of the night, I was looking over because like, <gasps> and they even took the mask off, but I was still scared. Yeah. But you, you just said that you didn't get scared a lot. I didn't I didn't get scared like like in public. But yeah. at home, that's a different story. Because I feel like when it's your family members, they don't give a shit, bro. They'll scare they the fuck they out of you. Fam. But I, I've never like, even um on my street, mm-hmm. there's always that one house that goes like, 
that does all the extra shit. Yeah. Like they chase around kids in the costume, and I never wanted to go out just cause that house. Oh yeah, and yeah. They're yeah. all old people that try to scare kids. I'm like, bro, come on, man. Like, let me enjoy, <laughs> fam. My my dad said like one of his friends, he yeah. used to he used to put like a scarecrow in front of his house, right, yeah. and leave it there, and he leaves it there like during the whole month <laughs> yeah. of October. Yeah. So when it came time to Halloween, mm-hmm. he would dress up in the exact costume and then wait in the same spot. Oh, so the kids no. that walk by his house, like, oh, it's just a scarecrow it's just yeah. a scarecrow so they go there to trick or treat he's wearing the costume no, and he scares and he them he scares them right <laughs> and then I think I think one of the kids started crying and he had to like apologize uh, and shit like that see that's the only thing it's like as a parent of the kid that, that's crying yeah. what do you say like oh good one I don't know <laughs> I don't know to uh, be honest you, you got him it's tough yeah. it's tough because at the same time I'm gonna have like a I'm gonna laugh with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna laugh with him. But if, if you hurt my kid, fam, I'm gonna yeah, be cheese. Okay, if you touch him, it's it's raps. Like you can't touch my kid. But what if you get traumatized though, bro? Hey man, that's on you. <laughs> <laughs> Loki, that's on you. That's your that's your physical, like, okay, are you strong enough to handle the scare? That's true. Like I didn't touch you, I just I just I just You can't go mind. trick or treating if you don't have a heart. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just in your mind 24-7 type thing. That's f- Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I I wanna I wanna tell you one of one of these stories. Bro. Is it like tr- based on a true story though? Some of them. Okay, because all mine are based on a true story. And low key, I'm actually cheese because now I'm actually scared. Why? Because like before, if you if you really think about Halloween, yeah, it's like it's really like innocent as a kid. But if you really think about it, getting random candies from strangers, and then I searched up all these things about kids getting drugged or kids. Oh yeah, I'm that's like, real. Yeah, and I'm that's not, now that I'm thinking like. Yo, it's it's actually dangerous going out for to Halloween. Yeah, it is. It is. But but like, I don't want to ruin it for the kids. Like, have fun, man. But I know. But it, it's it's just like you can't. I don't know. You got to be on. There's guard. some evil people out there. Yes, there's some bro. evil people. But I guess like you can't categorize everybody as the same. But you have to keep your guard up at the same time. Yes, bro. And you know you know why I was so scared because um remember I told you that house that goes big and beyond for Halloween. Yeah. There was this also this story that I read about mm-hmm. who there was um a guy who also did these like big extravagant decorations when it came time to for Halloween. Yeah, yeah. And bro, this time he did like, what is that called? I think it's Vlad. It's Vladimir. Oh, uh, Count Dracula. Yeah, Count. He yeah. Did, for this year, he did Count Dracula, mm-hmm. right? With all the, like the humans posted on wooden sticks and shit like oh, that. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, so the parents were like, okay. Some parents were cool with it. Yeah. But other parents were like, Nah, nah, you can't do that shit because my, my kids are getting scared, mm-hmm. right? And no one knew who the guy decorated. They just knew his house, Word. right? But the guy yeah. was a loner. So one night, the, the one lady who did, who was like, no, I don't want this up, yeah. right? Because my kids, she knocked on the door. No one came out, right? Mm-hmm. Rang on the doorbell. No one came out. But then she noticed that something smelled oh. from the field. Oh. And then she looked around mm-hmm. and there was bear bugs flying around her. Yeah. So she's like, Okay, she's following the smell. She's following the smell. What is her? No, no. Listen, she goes up to one of like the Halloween like decorations. Yeah, and it's a person on, on the wooden stick. Nah, she smells it. She goes closer. The stench is getting way like bigger. She smells it. She touches it. She feels human skin, nah, like, like the cold fuck. human skin. All of the decorations were actual people that the guy murdered. Yo, what the fuck? Fam, and I'm thinking. Wait, maybe, where was this? Uh, I don't. know, Somewhere in Houston, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's. <laughs> but you know in Houston the, the bigger the better or what the Texas <laughs> the bigger the better or some shit like that. everything's bigger in Texas yeah, facts. <laughs> even the Halloween costumes no actually actually to to continue off that yeah yeah there, there's there's a there's an actual haunted house in the state somewhere else too Where? that you have to sign like a waiver first right oh so you have to sign a waiver saying like if you get hurt if uh. you get touched like anything goes fam yeah literally oh, you can get cut yeah. You can get bruised. You can get punched in the face. Anything goes. They sign off a waiver. Yeah. And if you go in, it's against your own will. Like, you have to go through and they do some shit to you. They say, if you make it out, you're you're like one of the only people to ever make it out. Whoa, ever. Like I 0.01. Think, <laughs> I think I think only one person made it out or some shit like that. What the heck? I forgot what, oh, man, I forgot where this is. How long is it? Like, is it like duration of like 30 minutes or an hour? Nah, I don't I don't even know. <laughs> Yo, imagine you go in there and some guy just knocks you out straight off the rip. <laughs> Yo. Would you would you do it though? Nah, hell no. Hell no. I th- I think for the experience it would be as long as you don't get killed. That's the only thing. Wait, you can get killed? As, as long as you don't get killed. Because I think, I'm pretty sure they can like can hurt you and shit like that. Like they can punch you. They oh can like grab goodness. you. <laughs> Imagine the second you come in here, he grabs you, starts knocking. 
<laughs> but can you fight back? I'm pretty sure. Because if, if they're touching you, you can punch them. Yeah, okay. Right? Because <laughs> we bring me, you, Josh. <laughs> no, but what if that shit turns into a street fight, bro? That's what I'm saying. Like, how is that even fun? That's probably just a trap, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably just a trap, honestly. That would be the greatest job, though. Imagine getting paid $16 an hour to beat people up. <laughs> as, as a like an MMA fighter in the yeah. in the secret haunted house that's just hosted imagine, by Conor McGregor or some shit that's fuck. imagine Adesanya comes out with spinning knee to the head as soon as you come in bro <laughs> <laughs> that's so sure. so speaking of spooky shit, right? Yeah, yeah. So you know those um it's like oh, what's what's it called? Bloody Mary. Oh yeah. It's like Bloody Mary, there's like the Charlie Charlie shit, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So I accidentally came across one, fam. <laughs> what so, like another one? Like another one just like that, right? Shit. So you know how I always see the the number thirty three everywhere? Yeah, thirty three. I've been I've been saying that, right? Like I always see the the three three three, yeah, the number thirty three. That's like an angel number, no? Yeah, some shit like that. But every time I look at the clock, I always see thirty three, right? Oh shit. I always see the number. Yeah. So I googled it like what's the meaning of thirty three? I typed it in like wrong, I yeah. guess like an autocorrect or something. Uh-huh. And a Reddit thread popped up. Oh, it wasn't about the number 33. Yeah. But it was something called the Three Kings. Right? Okay. Okay. So check this out, bro. <laughs> yeah. So apparently it's one of those games, mm-hmm. just like Bloody Mary, where you try and contact the spirit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So listen, listen. So there's there's this whole kind of ritual you have to do. Yeah. Right. And it says it doesn't tell you exactly what you're gonna see, mm-hmm. but it tells you the steps how to do it. So okay. what you do, right? You're supposed to get three chairs, yeah, all in a dark room. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to get one candle and you're supposed to hold it, right? Now you're supposed to set an alarm for 3 30, okay. right? Yeah. Now when your alarm goes off at 3 30 in the morning, you have three minutes before the ritual can start because it all starts at 3 3 3. So smokes. keep in mind, this shit's called the three kings, right? <laughs> yeah. So supposedly the middle chair is the king's seat. Okay. The left chair is the fool's seat. Mm-hmm. And the third chair is the queen seat, yeah. right? You're supposed to sit in the king's seat and you're supposed to put a mirror on both sides facing the other two chairs. Yeah. So it hits, it hits three, 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 right? Yeah. You're supposed to sit down on your chair, right? Okay. Oh, my bad. You're actually supposed to put a, a fan behind you too. Just in case something goes wrong. So you want to, you want to blow out the candle because oh. suppo- supposedly like the whole thing is powered by a candle. <laughs> so if that candle goes out, the whole, the whole like ritual is over. Done. Yeah. So this guy did it, right? Shout out that guy. He, this is on Reddit, right? He swears by like, he actually did it. Yeah. So he, he said what he saw he was sitting, he was sitting. It was just all darkness. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden he's heard, he hears like voices like to his left and right. Where the, where the chairs would be, right? Yeah, bro. The rules, the rules of the ritual, you're not supposed to look in the mirrors. Because something can go wrong. Okay. You're not supposed to look in the mirrors. So you're supposed to look straight and just listen. <laughs> right? So this guy was saying like he felt presences on both sides. Yeah. But the voices he heard, mm-hmm. it sounded like his own voice. So on his left side, yeah. he, heard, he heard talking like, why did you let him die? Why did you let him die? Yeah. And then his right side was saying, it wasn't my fault. It wasn't, I didn't know what to do. Mm-hmm. So he started thinking to himself, that's me talking. But wait, what am I talking about? Yeah. And he looked back and he remembered his friend passed away mm-hmm. because of cyberbullying and he wasn't there for him. No. Yeah. What? So almost as if like his internal thoughts were speaking out loud while he was doing that ritual. What the Yeah, and then he really, really had an urge to look into the mirrors, but he forced himself not to because not something to. could happen to him, right? Yeah. So he got so scared, he ended up dropping the candle and then the, the fan blew it out. Mm. So the whole thing finished. And it was just like done right done. there. It was done. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, we, yo, imagine I edited, like I blew it out and then that's we just fun, cut. That's fucked, that's <laughs> fucked. We could have gone viral. Fuck. I actually would ask you, if that went out right now, I would have got scared. I know, Loki, I was looking at the whole time. But like, is is so if you look in the mirror, what do you think would have happened? I don't know. Because you know how they say the mirror is a dimension to the spirit world? Yeah, yeah. In everything, in like Asia, in mm-hmm. European tradition, mm-hmm. that's supposedly the, the entrance to the spirit world. Yeah. Things can come out of there. Yeah. And you can see things that are not from this universe, bro. Uh-huh. So what they say, right? Oh, actually... Uh-huh. There's there's um there's even this Chinese urban legend okay. about the jinn. Have you heard about this? No, the jinn. The I usually know all the Japanese. And yeah, Chinese you, should, you should know this one. You should know this one. <laughs> no, what's the jinn? Tell me. Tell so me. So check this out. So there's this Chinese urban legend. <laughs> yeah. That apparently you're not supposed to be naked in front of a mirror. Naked in front of a mirror. Like you should never be naked in front of a mirror. Why? Why? <laughs> you know why? <laughs> why? Because apparently there's a demon mm-hmm. called the jinn that if it morning. falls in love with you, I knew it. If it falls in love with you, yeah, it will do things to the people that approach you or have a crush on you. Do bad things to oh, them. Oh, like kill them because it's jealous. Either harm them 
put them in tough situations what or the make heck? them push them away so you never meet them. So oh let's say you have a soulmate, fam. Yeah. Because and you were naked in front of a mirror one time. You'll never meet their you'll soulmate. You'll never meet that soulmate. Because he's so jealous. Yeah. Man, that's like <laughs> the succubus incubus one. <laughs> yeah. That one's a good one. That I, that has to be true because it's not from Reddit. And also, it's a Chinese or Japanese one. Those? Yeah, no, no they're, they're, they're real. True. They're real. Those are always true. Whenever I, whenever I search up those ones, I'm like, okay, man. <laughs> Chill. Because the Asian ones, I don't know, bro. They're different, fam. Yeah, they're I different. Know. That's why the Asian horror movies are always the best. Oh yeah, they're the, always the best. Fam, I remember um walking like usually I walk to the living room. Yeah, and my dad's watching these Japanese and and like Chinese like actual horror movies, mm-hmm. and they look crazy. They're like ripped face, blood gouging. I'm Damn. like, what the heck? And I'm telling him like, yo, dad, I recommend this show. It's like a Korean drama. He's yeah. like, that's bullshit, man. Watch some, watch some like good shit. <laughs> like Japanese produce. Oh, he so knows much, what's up. He knows like, what's up. So much horror movies that you should watch that shit instead of watching the romantic drama shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know, bro. There's some dark ones though because yeah. i'm pretty sure remember the the iceberg i was talking about yeah so there's a next like japanese one about okay. a girl that got kidnapped and then supposedly she was tortured by like 20 men at the same time what the f- have you heard of the the one where it's like there was a babysitter and then the kids were upstairs and there was a murder calling on halloween night nah bro this tell me about that one tell me about that one because there's a myth yeah. that, that a murder would would call someone on halloween night and murder someone yeah and this one actually came true oh. so it was like a babysitter mm-hmm. in new york right yeah so he was chilling in the living room right he just put his kid the kids away that he was babysitting mm-hmm. ring 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 picks up the phone the the guy was like yo have you checked on the kids lately and the guy was like huh oh, puts the phone down fam yeah. the phone rings again he's like he's like did you check the kids lately puts the phone down again oh third my one. god Nah, he picks up the last one the third one the final one he said have you picked up the kids yet i mean have you checked on the kids yet because i killed them and i'm coming to kill you soon what the fuck puts down the phone again this is a ch- based on a true story in new york that ass yes oh shit he, he calls the cops yeah. the cops were like yo we're gonna chase this call we're gonna chase this call stay on the line Phone cuts out. Oh. He goes out his house yeah. and meets the cops. And what way he he doesn't even check the kids. Mm. But what the cops found out, they go up, the kids are dead. Damn. If he didn't go out his house and met the cops, he would have been dead too. That's fucked. It was like a 34-year-old guy who who, who was like actual murder. Damn. Did did he have like a secret vendetta against them? I don't was know. Was it just like a random serial killer? I think it was a random serial killer. Yo, serial killers are messed <laughs> up, man. Yo, cause taken, that's actually. If you think about all the crazy people in the world, yeah, for being a serial killer, it's kind of common. Yeah. Because I'd expect maybe like one or two people. Mm-hmm. There's hundreds, fam. Fam, and on Halloween night, when all the kids are out by themselves, fam. That's but, but, dark. But, but, but that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I, after I read all these things, I'm like, yo, I really went out with all my friends at like eight mm-hmm. and toured around the neighborhood. Damn. Ha- yeah, that's there, true. Has there been an experience where- Where like a sketchy person? Yeah, a sketchy person. I Nah, I never, I never came across a sketchy person, but I was always on my guard though i was always on my guard like we would always stay together because it's common it's like the psa you know make sure when you guys go trick-or-treating you Uh stay in a group blah blah because we follow the rules yeah because i remember me i think you remember yeah yeah and 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 we all went out as a squad one time Mm -hmm. and then there was like we went to houses but there was a black car following us like this is actually a true story yeah but before he had, he was like, yo, bring eggs just in case. Yeah. So we all had eggs in our thing. Why right? eggs? Why eggs? I, I don't just to throw at something, mm-hmm. right? And he, we would bring all some other shit, like heavy stuff with yeah. us just in case some shit happened, right? So there was this black car <laughs> following us to every house. Damn, and we were damn. kids, so maybe we exaggerated. So he screamed like, yo this guy this guy getting out the car or some shit yeah right? so we we egged his car <laughs> yeah. and ran away and then like we were so far we yeah. threw an egg like really far <laughs> we looked we waited for the egg to hit the car and then, oh. we, and then we and then we all ran did he have did, did you see no, him he got cheesed because he was like what are you guys doing this is just my house oh uh. <laughs> But as a kid, fam, that was so funny. That was probably my best Halloween moment. Bro, I'm pretty sure one of the origins of the early Halloween was the trick or treat is like, if you didn't give candy, they get egg. Really? I think that's what it is, right? Like like kids going to the door. Yeah, because trick or treat. Oh, yeah. Because a trick would be like, you get egged. 
Because you yeah. didn't give us candy. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Or the treat, you get the candy. <laughs> no, I always thought that I was like, treat, you get candy, or trick, you get like vegetables or something. Oh, shit. you know, that was it? Yeah, did you ever get that? Nah. I got I got um, like granola, though. I got like a carrot one time. You got a carrot? From a guy trying to be funny. I'm like, bro. Now, then that's when you egg their house, bro. Yeah, I'm like, bro, you're not funny. <laughs> if, you, if you get shit like that, like, you egg their on, house. Man. And then like one time I got like, you know, those big Sprite? soda like yeah. the two liter ones yeah, yeah i was like bro i'm not gonna carry this around <laughs> wait he give you the whole thing yeah he like there was a dr pepper he's like which one do you want why do you give that up i don't know fam that's low-key expensive <laughs> that's what, you're gonna carry that around the whole day <laughs> the whole night that's what i'm saying i'm like bro there's no way i'm carrying this around <laughs> <laughs> no but they get creative sometimes i remember one time somebody gave us like toys and shit like you know Word. those kind of like a McDonald's toy. It's not McDonald's toy, but it's like toys. Yeah, yeah like those like plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, those are sick. I would be amped to get one of those. Okay, well, what's your, what's your like your most hated candy you get? Most hated candy? Oh, I hate Twizzlers. Why? Licorice, fam. You don't like li you like licorice? I like I like Twiz Twizzlers, but I don't like like the black licorice. Yeah. And shit no, like that. licorice in general, just like I think it's called like the sticks. Yeah, you know what licks those are? are? Fire. You, you know what licks are? Mm. The the red ones, the red like really. Um, it's like stubs. It's stubs of a uh, thing. Oh, those are shit. Those are so those are ass, shit. It, it's the stubs of the. <laughs> yeah. No, those are shit. Those are shit. The nibs. <laughs> the nibs. nibs. Those are trash. Get that. Get that shit out of my face. That's Man, so it trash. It tastes like plastic, like burnt plastic. I think it's because it's old more, more times, fam. Because nobody buys those, yeah. and then like they just have them from the last Halloween Hello. or like the previous Halloweens, and they still give them out, bro. So you open yeah. that shit up, you get like the white powder on yeah. it. If you see white powder on on your candy, don't eat it. Why? That's just expired. Oh, really? That shit is expired, man. Why? Like even your your chocolate, if it's a little bit like whitish, it's expired, man. Yeah, they kept that weird. shit from from very time ago. Yeah, that's weird, bro. But there's, uh, have you heard um so some some houses give out temporary tattoos yeah and they lace them with lsd no oh, that's crazy yeah so that's crazy this one is crazy because i thought i thought for lsd you have to taste it yeah like, but, but i guess it can get transferred through skin I, i'm pretty sure as long as it gets in your pores or like in your system oh. your bloodstream if it goes in your bloodstream then it's yeah. activated because because there was i think there was a school in manhattan mm -hmm. that that there was rumors going out yeah that there, there was like temporary tattoos going around mm. and they're like if you get one on halloween this year do not put it on because they're laced with LSD and it goes a step further because those people would lace the LSD with a deadly poisoning. Oh, that would just kill you instantly. Shit. That's messed up. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, that's messed up. Like, <laughs> like Loki getting chocolate from strangers is actually kind of weird. All right, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? I personally, for me, you know, I'm a, I'm a student right now. School is busy. You get overloaded with work with not a lot of time to do it. And you don't get a chance to kind of speak your mind on what's bothering you or what's making life uncomfortable. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own professionally licensed therapist. You can start communicating in less than 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not a self-help line. This is professional therapy done securely online. On BetterHelp, there is a broad range of expertise, which may not be locally available in many areas. This service is available for clients worldwide and you can log into your account anytime and message your therapist. You get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. So you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room like traditional therapy. All right, BetterHelp is also committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change therapists if you need. It's more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. I visit their website and read their testimonials that are posted daily. So one testimonial I have here on the site it says, after years of counseling, doctor is the best therapist I ever had. She understands me in a way no one has. She's changed my life for the better. Visit betterhelp.com slash jumpers. That's better, H-E-L-P. And join over 2 million people who have taken charge of their mental health and have seen an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp. They are recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. So this is a special offer for the Jumpers Jump listeners. You guys get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com dot com slash jumpers so that's better help better h-e-l-p dot com slash jumpers because you know the um i i heard you know it's it's like a twizzler but it has like the white powder inside oh, you know what i'm talking uh, about yeah, sweet, know. sweet sticks or yeah, some shit sweet, sweet tooth oh no 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 rope sweet rope yeah sweet rope, sweet rope. Sweet rope. that's oh what it's called God. sweet ropes are fire but apparently those are the most dangerous candy you can get out in halloween why because supposedly the fucking the crazy people yeah they'll take rat poison which is white rat rat poison mm -hmm. and fill that whole thing with rat poison what the and you'll never know right because it's it's like a sweet it's, yeah. it's a sweet rope fam you're not gonna yeah. open that shit up but as soon as you taste it oh what is this it's wraps done it's wraps messed up yo. yo okay so this this one's
Yeah. Because we're talking about the white powder shits. Yeah. So, you know, sticks, you remember those sticks ones where like you would pretend to smoke. Oh, like um, the the, pop, the Popeye, Ch- the Popeye like stick, yeah, yeah. like Popeye cigarette. St- I think it's called, what is it called? Pixie sticks? Oh yeah. It's a oh, pi- pixie stick. Yeah, pixie the powder? Stick. Yeah. Okay, okay. That one. So do you know about Ronald O'Brien? You probably heard of him. No. <laughs> really? Like they, Ronald McDonald? The, no. <laughs> Cause, cause he's known as like the Candy Man. Oh, is that is that like the Jordan Peele movie? No, no, it's not. Oh. It's not. But this is like the original Candy Man. Okay, okay. Because this is what happened. So his his little little boy Timothy, mm-hmm. right? And I think this was like nineteen hundreds. Yeah. Right. He came back from a long day of trick or treating. He's all gassed up, right? Mm-hmm. Ronald gave him one last candy. It was a pixie stick. Oh shit! Right. Yeah. He ate it. Died immediately, fam. Rat poison? No, it was something else. Some next poisoning. But this is why he did it. So he was in debt, right? Mm-hmm. And then he took out a life insurance on his kid. So, oh, so he, what killed, the f- he killed his kid just to get some money. Damn. That's some song we shit, bro. I, that's what I'm saying. Damn. That's what I'm saying. And But I think I think the cops caught him after. Yeah. And then like he, he was sentenced to death penalty by like lethal injection. That's messed up, bro. Yeah. That's like, um, who was it? The, the guy that killed his whole family. Remember when we talked about this? And then ended up haunting their whole house. Wait, was that the, the girl that like showed up on the left? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I think it's like that because because if you have life insurance, fam, that's the only thing that's sketch, right? Why? If you have life insurance, I think it's like a million dollars you get. Something like that. Something crazy like that. Like Wrong a crazy you know, <laughs> amount of money. Yeah. Like if somebody puts that on you, then they're going to be thinking in the back of your head, shit, yeah. if you're gone, that's, that's not a big deal. You know? I know because it's a million dollars, fam. <laughs> But Loki, a million is not even a lot to kill someone. But what if, what if they plan it? Just like these serial killers, man. Yeah. Like they're not right in the head. They'll do some shit to get out of situations in debt or whether it be greed. You know what I mean? What? No, I was kidding. <laughs> what? Sang Woo. Sang Woo. I have the inside joke with my mom. I always, like whenever she's downstairs, I say Sang Woo. <laughs> Sang Woo. My marbles. I was gonna dress up as Sangwa too. I was gonna have the suit. Oh, you should have done and that. Then, and I was gonna have a bag of marbles. Uh, and I'd be like, haha, look, I got your boys marbles. <laughs> Cause everyone loved Ali. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. bro, as soon as Ali came on the screen, I knew he wasn't winning. Cause he he just didn't look like he was gonna win. Now he looked like a side character. Yeah, though. he looked He's like a side, side character. character. But yeah, we talk way too much about Squid Game, so <laughs> that's right, the like Squid Game. Oh wait, actually I have a Squid Game theory though. Okay, like yeah, a quick tell, one. Tell, tell me, I have one too, Loki. Okay, you do? <laughs> oh my god. So I think somebody sent me this. Okay. But um so there's a theory yeah. that Seabook might still be alive, man. Uh, wait, she I, might still be alive. I know. <laughs> I know. Is it because her Instagram post? Yeah. I knew it. I, I knew think it. So so apparently she posted it, right? Yeah. She posted uh like footage, like backstage footage, yeah, right? Yeah. Of her and Ollie? Was, it was her Ollie and, and the girl that died with her. Yeah, like her best friend yeah, yeah, in yeah. the games, right? Yeah. So if you look closely. She has a scar on her neck where she got where she got slashed by Sangmu. Sangmu. <laughs> Feel me? So bro, the theory is that she's gonna be alive in season two with with um Those two. Yeah, with those two, with Ali and the other girl. Yeah, yeah. Cause if you if you look even closer, the other girl, her hair's long. Wait, no. Yeah, she had long hair. It looked longer, bro. It was a different style or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Yo, so nah. they're all coming back for season two. Fam. Nah, cause yo, as soon as I seen that, I looked at the comments first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's like season two, season two, and there was the fun, like shout out to that guy because he had the funniest comment. Cause if you slide and the second video is of them three, the the guy was like, "Are y'all in heaven?" Oh, <laughs> it might be. It He's might like, be. He's like, "R.I.P. Sabiok and Ali." <laughs> <laughs> it might be. Cause fam, the background they were like they were like thing, and and Sabiok came up to the camera was like. Where am I, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like in heaven. <laughs> oh shit! Is it? Yeah. Oh man. But, but, but there was a but it, it was not just say Biuk posting about this. It was mm-hmm. um, actually like the Sangwu Sangwu. Oh yeah, he, he who post- posted a thing and uh your character. Yeah. He, he posted a, a a picture of him going like this and season two. Oh yeah. word. And something in Korean. Like the gangster guy. Yeah. Oh shit. And something in Korean. The only thing I hate about those like Korean accounts yeah. is like they'll type something in Korean as a caption. But even though you hit C translation, you, you still can't. Oh, you can't translate it. Yeah. Oh man. So I'm like, what the? What does that mean? I I definitely think there's like more more to it too. Yeah. Like if you really look into it, because I think the set, fam. Yeah. The set it looked like where they played the marbles, but yeah. the green screen is off. It's off. Yeah. It's off. It's like it's like 
to the side or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's sketch, man. But it's so funny because on the TikTok, the, we have a Squid Game theory and we're dressed up as a Squid Game. Theory. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so right. this one might pull views. It might, it might stop. Are you dropping those soon? These? These shirts? Isn't it dropping today or something? Oh, yeah. Dropping today. Yo, shout <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Lincoln Bio. Lincoln Bio, I'm dropping the. Yo. Come see, bro. The amount, the amount of like it's it's so funny how we landed on like everything's weird because you whenever you have a drop yeah. it lands perfect time we have a pro you have promo going to your next drop and then how did episode 50 turn out to be a, the halloween episode oh it's weird. yeah it's that's weird. interesting like your last drop we had the we reacted to the commercial you did yeah what the fuck you got it just lines up man it just lines up you know there's a theory about how like the illuminati always has shit like planned I'm not gonna yeah. say nothing. I'm not gonna say nothing. You you, you seen you seen the the meeting. No, <laughs> I was no. in the meeting. <laughs> Shang Wu. <laughs> shout out Travis. Shout out Kanye. Alive, We're all in that meeting. I think J Lo was there too. Alive, <laughs> Besides Squid Game, though, yeah. have you watched like any crazy Korean movies and shit like that? Korean movies. Any crazy Korean movies? No. <laughs> nah. No. They're all. They're all. Did you watch Old Boy yet? No. Fam. Whoa. We did a whole <laughs> VPN ad for that shirt, bro. Come on. You have to watch Old Boy. Wait. What is it about again? It's like um. I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to okay, spoil yeah. it. But, but it's but like, is it like horror? Like what? What's the genre? It's like mind bending. It's like plot twist. Plot those twist? are the best. Those are the best like content, man. Okay. Any anytime there's a plot twist and it just flips it. Yeah. Those are my those are my favorite. Okay, okay. Watch it, bro. Okay, watch yeah, I it. I've, I've been watching the soft ones. You haven't watched any scary like like <laughs> thrillers, no. no? No, no. Damn. But you you give me a list of ones and then I'll binge watch them on Halloween. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You ever watch um <clears throat> Poltergeist? Poltergeist. Oh, I've heard about that one. You but heard no. about it? Yeah, but I never it, watched it I personally. It's popular. It's 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 super popular. Yeah. I think they made three movies, right? Okay. So there's a theory that yeah. there's like a curse on the movie poltergeist and i think all of the actors that were part of the movie yeah they died all like, of them within a six year span of shooting the three movies all of them that that were acting in the movie died yeah. oh my is this so, like ghost related so listen listen so the theory goes that the skeletons they used in the movie no Real. They were <laughs> now nah, listen, listen. The skeletons they use in the movie, yeah. they tried using fake ones, mm -hmm. but the fake ones are too expensive. Huh? So it was actually cheaper to so go to a morgue <laughs> and get skeletons that were real and use them in the movie. Oh so my God. the curse is yeah. that because they use those skeletons, everybody, everybody on the set got cursed. And within those three movies, that time span, mm -hmm. they all passed away through some tragic accident why why would you use real skeletons bro that's such outside thinking fam i think even in disneyland the, oh, the heard, pirates I've of heard. caribbean they use yeah, like they, they, real. They're real have you ever gone on those rides i went on the ride but i didn't i didn't notice it because they all look fake because yeah. if, if you're in that situation even in like a in like <laughs> a haunted so, house yeah it's so happy yeah no even in a haunted house it's just like the vibe right you're, mm -hmm. you're not thinking everything's real well, what if it could be real right like mm -hmm. if your mindset's in the right place you can start it look differently. Look at the details. Yeah. You see some like blood stains, you know what I mean? Yeah. See some actual like chip marks on bone. Mm -hmm. Bro, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Because I think, I swear like the main idea of Halloween or, or some urban legend too, mm -hmm. is that the decorations or like hanging from a tree was like actual people, you know, oh, doing that. That's really? why. Yeah. Oh, shit. So like the direct, the decorations of those bodies. That's, that's where like it came That's from. what they used to do with real yeah, bodies. That's why it's hang decorations on a tree at Halloween. But I think there was a, a, a girl in like, I don't know, Houston or Texas or something like that, yeah. where she was, she was found thing. You oh know? shit. I believe the real first costumes in Halloween. Was, they, um, was a skeleton? No, I, no, oh, no, I no. I thought I read about that. They used real animal hide and real animal heads <laughs> so in preparation for for halloween because yeah. it's it's like around thanksgiving in canada around thanksgiving okay and they would cut off the heads of like pigs yeah lamb sheep whatever and turn those into their costumes so the original costumes were actually just animals what the of like real animals yeah it's <laughs> messed up bro and then i, I we, we talked about the theory before like the original origin of halloween yeah is like you want to blend yourself in With to the, the spirits so they don't get you because october the 31st is apparently the day the spirit world opens up and all the spirits roam around the streets so you want to blend yourself in yeah so they don't latch onto your body and possess you i'm just waiting for one of these halloweens where there's like another big purge a big purge because loki and halloween everyone's outside anything goes loki <laughs> oh nah that's messed up bro. like imagine like if i see yo imagine you just look out the window one time and then like you see a bunch of clouds just running around 
<laughs> you just there's a, like ah. a clown shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Have, have you seen the the Purge Anarchy? I think I I seen a trailer. Like um the newest Purge, the newest Purge. Yeah, the one it? with the clown. Oh no no, it's called um. It's called the uh, the Forever Purge. No, tell me about that one. Yo, so so it's it's like it's like the Purge, right? Yeah. But they made it so that it's forever. So they 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 tried they try to push it even after the the purge was ended. So they just continued killing everybody. So it was just and like they just normal. forced yeah. Because if you think about it, if you're put in that position, everybody everybody's doing crime, right? <laughs> yeah. They're not gonna stop, fam. Yeah. Like, low key. Even if the bell goes off, why are you gonna stop like in the middle of what you're doing? Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, so they just continued it for the rest of the week. How how many bodies did they catch, bro? Crazy. Like crazy amount. Crazy amount. That's another fear of mine. Like hearing that that purge bell. The mm. Bro, I would freeze up. I, I wouldn't know what yeah. to do. Yeah. Look, I think I think oh, I, I'd be okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like I'd be okay, fam. I I, I yeah. think we train enough. You yeah. train enough, no? Yeah, I train enough, but like I wouldn't go out my way to kill someone, man. No, like, I'm not doing that. I'm just defending myself. Get a shield yeah. or some shit. Defending yourself, okay? Nah, chill, 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 chill. I would never preach. <laughs> I'm bro. kidding. Yeah. Relax. But, but there, there there was a similar one I think in France that yeah. I read about. It's called Ben's the Clowns. What's that? <laughs> it's like so. There's like a group of teenagers that all had masks, clown masks yeah. on, and they were all armed. Oh right? shit! And they were running around the streets laughing. Laughing like clowns chasing around people. Yeah. Fam, they beat a guy up with an iron bar, like a, a total innocent pedestrian in, in like a bar. He was just drinking, smacked him with an iron bar. Damn. And he, they went up to a student fam and they slashed his hand and the student had a sliced like hand defending them himself from like the clown. Oh, fuck. bro. I think, I think what happens is when things like that happen, yeah. like when like crazy events, tragic events happen, that's when the spirit gets trapped and they become ghosts. Oh, like, like they get possessed by something and they just go no, crazy? No, like, let's say somebody was tragically murdered mm -hmm. or somebody was in a tragic event, like an accident, something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. I think when they get caught in those events, that's when their soul, they don't ascend. They get stuck here on this plane. And then that's when we see ghosts. Maybe that's what ghosts are. Oh, if they don't get buried, then then what you're saying is they stay on the plane? No, I think maybe if it's a tragic event. Oh, okay. Like you don't, you don't pass on. They're not ready to pass on. Oh, like an innocent. Yeah. Because maybe that the, the ghost of that guy was like, that i'm not trying to die right now mm -hmm. and then they, they go and murder someone else yeah because i heard a story before oh no my aunt right <laughs> your told, aunt though it's uh, i'm ready bro <laughs> she told me the story right how she was having dreams of somebody she knew that passed away mm -hmm. and her parents right mm -hmm. they were talking about how things were happening around the house like really weird paranormal experiences are happening around the house like things would move yeah. like blankets would move whatever the the, the lights would flicker yeah. so apparently she was she was called out in her dream saying she wasn't ready to die. What? So fam, I think anytime we're not ready, you're kind of latching on to the one side in. So let's yeah. say let's say when you die, right? Mm -hmm. There's like the heaven or hell you go to, yeah. and then there's our plane. But as you're pushing on to the edge, the end of your life, you're kind of reaching on one side, mm -hmm. you get trapped, and then that's where you get stuck on this plane this dimension yeah and then you're stuck here for the rest of your life isn't that purgatory though maybe that's purgatory yeah but it's still on earth right yeah that's what purgatory is though is purgatory on earth no it's not purgatory is like some shit else. i swear like, it is i'm pretty know. sure purgatory is hell I, purgatory is in the middle that's all i know and mm -hmm. like that's your waiting like your waiting room yeah. to either decide to go up or you're going down fam yo yo you, you know what's so fun I, I read this on on reddit right what, what? so they said what if instead of going to heaven or hell yeah you end up in a small room surrounded by toys and you see a little girl what? and she says, come here, come play. Yeah. And you become her imaginary friend for the rest of your life. Huh? <laughs> Yo, Reddit? Reddit will make you think, bro. But that's, so that's so random though. Like, so f for the rest of your, I guess, ex oh, um, existence. Your existence, you're just playing with her. Your imaginary and, and you, friend. And you just don't even know that you're dead. Bro, because look, look, look. Imaginary friends come from somewhere. Yeah. Remember Robin's story of the imaginary friend? That shit was crazy. Robin's? Robin? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that was kind of weird. So that's crazy. Lie. There was another story where um a few people who moved into like an apartment mm -hmm. who had like um this teddy bear. Like, you know something you keep with you as a child? Oh, like an Annabelle type thing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> But nah, not, man. Not, not Annabelle, but like it was a it was a soft teddy bear that she yeah. like had from her childhood, right? Mm -hmm. And like the teddy bear, whenever they were looking around the house, they would never find it, right? Yeah. But one time she opened a closet mm -hmm. and it was on the high shelf. 
Like the highest shelf, mm. right? And she asked her roommate, she was like, yo, did any one of you guys touch it? Did you guys put it there? Like, yo, mm. stop the prank. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and all of them are like, nah. And, but every time it disappears, yeah. like she'll put it on like a desk, but it'll be gone when she comes back from like the grocery store. Oh, shit. But every time it disappears, it would always go back to that shelf. Put that shit in the oven, fam. For real that. shit. <laughs> nah, but you can't. Because if you kill it, you know you know how horror stories, they'll come back to Oh, life. it's going to be like vamped up. Yeah. yeah it'll it'll be, come back. Like it'll, it'll be angry. Grow. <laughs> Very angry, yo. Did, I have a real experience with like a, a ghost type of doll, fam. So my cousins, right? Oh. They had this like Dora doll. It's one of those Dora dolls that talk. Oh yeah. Those so listen, listen, listen. Bad. So for whatever reason, this Dora doll, yeah. we never cared about it, but it will always show up randomly. <laughs> randomly, you know how like when you have a pile of toys, I get that, yep. And then like you put it away, whatever, and just so happens like you see it like pop in. Yeah. Dora? So check this out. Check this out. So. We we were just chilling in the basement one time. We were, I think we were playing like like PlayStation. Yeah. And then some my cousin moved something like a pillow, mm -hmm. and we heard, "What's Simo? Dora?" Oh. And we're like, "What the? F <laughs> what the? F <laughs> yeah. No, we heard it. We're like, "What is that?" Yeah. So we check it. It's the Dora shit, bro. No. But we look at him like this has lasted five six years. And the battery still works. And the bro. audio still. <laughs> and the audio still like crystal clear. <laughs> oh my god! Crazy. That's funny. Cause that's like, a real story. That's a real story. That's a real story. Have you guys? What like? Is it still around? It's yo. I think we still have. They still have it at the house. <laughs> this is your aunt or no? This is your friend? No, it's my 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 cousins. My cousins. I, I think the scariest thing about like. It, it's the irony. It's such a kid-friendly toy, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's like that kid-friendly toy that will kill you. Yeah. I think that's what gets me because it's like, I, I would never expect a doll yeah. to go out and like kill me, you know? That's true. It, it's like a it's like a sick twist. It's a sick twist. It's a sick twist. Because the, the, the twins mm -hmm. at the end of the hallway, remember the twins? The Shining. Yeah, The yeah. Shining. It was like, you want to play with us? Yeah. And then they go away. They're so friendly, fam. <laughs> like, of course I want to play. <laughs> but if you guys are looking like that, no, I don't want to play. Bro, but did you know the most okay what do you think you can get possessed from more a toy or something like an object object is general like uh, yeah but what do you think i don't know maybe it might because we object. always we always hear about like annabelle yeah. or like the teddy bear or like the dora doll you know what i mean <laughs> but fam so apparently yeah things that can possess you the most are actually old furniture old furniture old furniture yeah so just like a doll just like annabelle whatever mm -hmm. they're so old and they can hold like a spirit within them right yeah, yeah. so whenever you go to the rom whenever you go to a museum mm -hmm. they lock off all of the old furniture so you can't sit on you can't touch it whatever right Word. not only to keep it intact but also because it might hold spirits within it <sighs> Yo, okay. Because no, no. there's real stories of people sitting down in, in furniture yeah. and then taking and, and on the presence of the king that used to sit in the throne. <laughs> like, or like the fucking, you know what I mean? The yeah. woman that used to sit in the rocking chair and they yeah. would take on their personality through it on some like split shit. Like, I'm here now. <laughs> yes, you know what I mean? Bro. And like the, the Esteban one with like the rocking Yeah. <laughs> with like the yeah, rocking that's thing. But that, that mirror was like the mirror of like an old haunted lady. Mm. Okay, but yo, I didn't want to tell you this, but remember we went to. um. Uh, the vintage store with Dino out in the out yeah, in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Dino, Dino sent me like he, the the owner called him. Yeah, and they sent him security cameras of when we were there. Yeah, and there there was a painting beside you that was like shaking. Nah, and shut moving. the fuck Fam, up. Listen, listen, listen. And the one, remember you? What did you buy there, or what did you touch? The the action figure. The action figure. Yeah. Fam, right beside it was a move. Like the action figure started moving. Shut the fuck <laughs> up, bro. <laughs> Think you can scare me? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> no, that don't be. F okay, so I actually have an action figure, right? Yeah. So take this in. This is real. I'm gonna show it to you right now. No. So <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Okay. So I looked on eBay for a brand new action figure. Yeah. Deadpool action figure. All of them brand new. Their head is straight. Okay. In in the in the packaging, right? Yeah. yeah. For whatever reason. Yours is crooked. For whatever reason, no, no, no. bro, take this in. This is brand new, never touched. Why is his head turned? Yo, yo, yo. Why is his head turned? Wait, is this the one you bought? No, it's a different one. Oh, that's a different one? No. Nah. Yo, yo, you can't move it, bro. How does it turn like that? Yeah. <laughs> Look, even if I go like this, if I shake it, it's not turning. <laughs> <laughs> 
fuck? Yeah. So that's why I didn't, I didn't want to put this one on my wall because I'm like, like what the fuck? And it's yeah. sc- it looks scary, see. bro. It's Deadpool, but you know how Deadpool has like scars on his face and shit yeah. like that. Fam, it's yeah, it's and like, this is brand new. This is from the nineties. Hold on, all so you're saying all of them on eBay? They're like they're all straight. They're all straight. Like the the head, the head's facing forward. That's kind of. But for whatever reason, this one's not. Okay, no, that's kind of weird. You might have to return that. <laughs> and why are you putting it towards me? You love doing that shit. You love doing that shit, huh? But now we we should low key we should low key go to like um. Have you heard of Screamers? Screamers, nah, nah. In like Wonderland, or th- oh, oh no, no that's um, that's like the 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 maze. The maze, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I know you're you talking around. about. But but have you heard about the, the Wonderland? Like there was some crazy shooting that happened at Wonderland. Oh yeah, I heard yeah, about that. For, for, like I think um, it was on Haunt. Yeah. Yeah, and they're like. Everyone was like, the the craziest thing though, because my friend was there, mm-hmm. and then they said once the they heard the shooting, yeah. everyone was, was running to the shooting, like why? not away. I don't know, like people wanted to see it. I'm like, bro, why the why the f- would you go? Like he has a, I swear he has a video, and everyone is running to that area. That's dumb. I'm like, bro, that's dumb. Come on, man. You don't want to do that. What the hell? Yeah. I think I think when. See, at moments like that, when you're at like, a, I guess a haunted festival or, a or party. like a party, something like that, right? Yeah. Everybody's senses are like vamped up. They want to see something. They yeah. want to see something, especially when you're getting into a fight too. Yeah. They kind of instigate, bro. <laughs> Remember, yo, I, re- I think there was um a Halloween frat party we went to. Yeah. Where there was like a, a guy who was cheesed at someone. He was like, he was like, yo, if that guy touches me again, I'm going to knock his ass out. Oh, he said that. <laughs> no, you were, it was me and you talking to him. Oh, really? You don't remember? This was so iconic. This is like the iconic. Halloween party we went Wait, to was go. it the guy with the chains? Or yeah, no? yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know you're talking because, about. And it was funny because you, you're saying they want to instigate, but we were instigating. <laughs> no, okay, that's the younger me though. That's yeah, the younger we were me. Like, we're like, yo, if, 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 he, if he touches you, fam, we'll jump in. <laughs> nah, hell no. Hell, that's just what we say just so we can see them fight, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not jumping for nobody. No, at the at the frat parties, I low key like I hate going out to yeah. those type of parties because literally anything can happen. There's some real menaces out there, bro. And I remember I went out as um a rapper, yeah, and I wore a big Jesus piece, right? Mm-hmm. That was a time where where I loved jewelry and shit like that, right? Yeah. I was in the mosh pit. I dead ass looked at these like these guys looking at me like crazy because oh, they seen the Jesus piece. Yeah, yeah. And I remember I came out to I went out of the mosh. Tuck my chain and mm. went out straight to you guys right away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause I'm like, if I'm fighting, I'm going down with Carlos. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Cause you know, like, I'll you, fuck, bro. <laughs> no, no. It's like, I just don't want to fight by myself. You feel no, me? No, true, true, true. And my, yeah, and my yeah. girl was there too. I'm like, bro, I'm not getting beat up in front of her, fam. No, nah, cause that's the thing. Remember when we were, um, we were in Niagara and then Nick said some shit to some guys? Oh, bro. Oh, bro. I don't know why mans do that, bro. Fam, it, it just, it just made me mad cause he knows, like, I'm gonna have to fight with him. Yeah. You know? You go, go explain the situation <laughs> so they get a better. Get to make it better. So so what we were doing, we we're just walking down the street. Yeah. And then I guess there's the there's these girls, right? Yeah. They're talking. She said something so like, come here, daddy. Something yeah, like that. Come here, like weird some weird shit. Yeah. She said, come here, daddy. And then and then Nick was like, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> and then all the guys looked. Cause we were right beside them, right yeah. beside their car. Oh all the guys looked at us like, come on, Nick. Yeah. What are you doing? And like fam, I remember I was I was rushing to the car because Two of the guys mm. were like following us. I'm like, oh my goodness. No, I saw that too. I saw yeah, that too. Yeah, you saw that too. But yeah. at the same time, I, like me me as a person, I kept turning around. But I knew but I didn't see you turn around once. Oh, you didn't see me turn around? Nah, no, you, you don't wanna you don't wanna make it obvious. Yeah, I know. And I was making it obvious. Mm-hmm. I'm, but at the same time we were with twelve men's back. Yeah, we're blessed. <laughs> but you you never know, like yeah, yeah. even if if there are two, what if they had a strap? You never know. That's true. That's true. T- two versus twelve with a strap is like you're de- you're still dead. It doesn't matter. It's it doesn't pop, matter. Pop, 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 you know, <laughs> Yo, nobody's bulletproof, man. Exactly. Nobody's bulletproof. You can you can go to the you can go to the gym. And you can bench two hundred, bro. Uh, but, uh, you're not <laughs> getting saved by a bullet. You can't dodge a bullet. Fam. You can't dodge a bullet, bro. All that weights for nothing. Exactly. That's <laughs> that, that's the funniest shit too. All those weights for nothing. Because like those those girlfriends is like my boyfriend can uh, bench two hundred, bro. Can you <laughs> dodge a bullet, fam. No. <laughs> Do you know what a hollow point is? <laughs> Today's Halloween and you guys still didn't use our promo code for Manscaped? Come on, man. That's a damn shame. Yo, it's still cuffing season. You guys got to cop their brand new fourth generation performance package with their new lawnmower 4.0 with the crop preserver and crop reviver. Trust me, guys. This is an essential for male grooming. You guys don't want to end up cutting yourselves using those janky old razors. Come on, man. You guys are still using those Dollarama razors on your sensitive parts and you're acting like you don't get cut. Switch over to the team Manscaped. Trust me. You guys won't turn back. I promise you. So their fourth 
generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming and accidents. So thanks to their advanced skin safe technology, it also gives the ability to turn the 4000K LED spotlight on and off whenever you guys need it. And after using the lawnmower 4.0, you guys got to top it off with a crop preserver and the crop reviver. This stuff will keep you fresh during the fall. Okay, so Manscaped even throws in two free gifts. So you get the, the travel bag and you get the boxers. So you guys are ready to go whenever you want. You guys get 20% off plus free shipping with code JUMPERS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with code J-U-M-P-E-R-S at manscaped.com. You guys, make sure you make your balls a priority this fall and click the link in the description below. Use code JUMPERS. Okay, what, what's like your biggest fear going out for halloween what do you think your biggest fear is or just even no, the really? dark bro going out yeah going out in the dark just oh, in general i thought you i thought you were saying parties because i was like yeah i just don't want to die for it. <laughs> no going out i think there's something about the dark man there's there's something about just being somewhere you can't see as well yeah obviously fam because uh that that escape room that i went the nyctophobia yeah which means fate of the dark fam the, the voice told me jump on the bed i didn't want to jump on the bed yeah yeah because yeah. it's like i think i think it's like something touching me or grabbing me in the dark mm -hmm. i think it's the unknown it's, yeah it's definitely it's, the unknown it's just the unknown because like you can hear shit you can feel shit mm -hmm. but the stuff that you can't if you lose one sense even whether it be our sight whether yeah. it be our hearing whether it be like our feel mm -hmm. you're gonna be scared bro yeah just like you know those things where they put their hand in the box and they're blindfolded oh, and yeah. shit oh, and the guy put a teddy bear yeah, he's yeah. freaking out right yeah. but i don't blame him because if you're blind that's one of the scariest shit ever. I know. Your your sense of sight is one of the most powerful, right? Facts. It puts we have our sight for a reason, fam. We have our sight to keep us out of danger. I know. That's why it's like like what you said, even those boxes, those guys flinch so much. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, I was like, there's no way I'm flinching if if I know it's a teddy bear. But I know but you don't know, but yeah. I'm a watcher. I'm a viewer. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. so I know, you know? It's only it's only until you're in that position. Yeah. Cause a lot of people they want to talk big until they go in that position. Yeah. They go in that position with like different story. Exactly. I remember I got traumatized and one time I, I crept up in my basement because my basement was so big as a kid mm -hmm. and there was always that, that really long hallway. Yeah, and then my my cousins played a really fucking traumatizing prank on me. What they do? They they just told me to get something in in like that long hallway at the end of it. Yeah, shut the door and closed all the lights. Oh, I, li I I still remember this to this shit. day. But I yeah. I went into that you know that um that position when you're like this, the fetal position. <laughs> I went into the fetal position. It, like bes right beside my laundry room yeah and i was just there for like 20 minutes crying damn yeah. you got traumatized from that yeah damn that's the worst bro one of the only things i'm traumatized of are heights i think i told oh, yeah, the story yeah. bro i told dad he, he put me on like the mall the mall railing and then yeah. i was screaming yeah i was i think my cousin did it to me too yeah screaming See, yeah I, I don't have a heights because afraid of heights because i'm like nah that, that, you, you never had that yeah, yeah that that's feeling. what it is if it's from your childhood it's different yeah that's why i'm so scared of dolls because mm -hmm. of chucky chucky that's like whenever we go to the thrift store mm -hmm. and you know though they have the old dolls there right I never it's not even because of annabelle or all of those other stories it's yeah. because of chucky chucky's like the og i don't touch oh no no oh fucking i had this mirror right yeah from um the thrift store and i remember that mirror oh man it, it was so <laughs> But the same mirror that I bought from the thrift store, I, I put my door open and like it was facing the wall and it cracked. Oh, that's so bad. That's know. bad luck. I know. But like I threw that mirror away already. That's good. That's yeah. good. Because I, I remember hearing this thing, right? Like a lot of people, they don't buy from thrift stores because of they think it's attached to somebody else. Yeah. So if somebody died mm -hmm. or it was belong to somebody before their spirit could still be attached to it yeah. and you're wearing it on you but but that can go at all ways for like because we buy clothes from the thrift store what if, i know i what know if like that vintage t-shirt was like a murderous t-shirt you, you never know you never <laughs> know man you never know but that's why it's kind of cool because i look back like I wonder who wore this because this is thrifted too. I yeah. wonder who wore this. And, and we think just because we put in like a, if we bleach it, we do all this type of washings, all the spirits are going away. Not no, even. it's just cleaner. <laughs> you got to put holy water, wash it with holy water. Or shit. Real shit. Because like what, one of my biggest dreams low key is when I'm, when I'm older mm. is having like the pretty boys on like, so I see a pretty boys track club thing on a, on the thrift rack. Oh, on the thrift rack. Yeah, yeah. Imagine like one of those like savior cookies are on the thrift rack. No, but if it's on the thrift rack, that means like <laughs> they didn't want it. <laughs> no, or they just they just in uh what do you call this uh wore it for so long that now it's they're finally done with it now nah, that means they don't want it though so. <laughs> <laughs> okay but it's still kind of cool to see you know no but it'd be sick because imagine this Let, yeah. let's say this this was thrifted yeah so imagine there was a real squid games and they used a jacket <laughs> like this <laughs> and this is from the games itself now. okay now that's what you should 
Carlos about to put on eBay. S- original Squid Game. Yo, some people will fall for that though. Yeah. Some people will fall for that. If if you if you create enough lore. Yes, fam. Yo, honestly, we create a lot of lore here. <laughs> yeah, we, we low-key do. Cause like all the books you said, I've I've gotten so many messages like, yo, tell what what is the book that Carlos recommended? We're like, okay, it's this one. And then they go buy a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, the author better thank us, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what's dope is the reason I do those, mm-hmm. and the reason I, I give out like the books or like um I put people on stuff yeah. and so when they do it and they go through it it might be life changing to them and they'll remember who put them on that's right? true that's true and that, that's the same for me because I, I I remember the people that put me onto something whether it be in a book or a movie that I really really loved mm-hmm. I remember who told me about it first yeah that's true because I think one of the best feelings and you know this about me too mm-hmm. is like if someone plays a, a song in the car yeah. that I put them on yeah. I, I, I always number one thing I say yo who put you onto that? <laughs> Just you, you, like you, you. You love to say yeah. that. <laughs> like you're feeling, you're waiting for the moment. This guy's itching in his pants. He's like, he's, he's gonna play the song. He's gonna play the song. And then once they press play, yo, come on, like, give me my credit type thing. Because because it, it's a good feeling when like I don't know you just. So some guy took what you you said or like and just played it. <laughs> yeah, Gavin hears the first second of the song and I'm like, like who put you on that? <laughs> I swear. But I swear everyone's like that though. It's like Yo, not really, good. not really. For me, for me, I, I'll just do it. I'll just do it and like, oh yeah, you remember? And like, oh, you took you took time to to remember that or some shit. You oh, know what yeah. I mean? Like, I don't I don't like force it. Because <laughs> like, I remember. Wait, <laughs> give me the respects. <laughs> That's Gavin. That's the Gavin special. That's Gavin special. Facts. No, because I remember um a big uh big uh rap SoundCloud rapper right now, Yeet. Yeah, yeah. I I played I played him for my friend, and he was mm-hmm. like, "Yo, this guy's trash. This guy's trash." Yeah. I'm like, "Alright, bro, just wait." Now, two months later, probably the biggest un, uh, like SoundCloud rapper right now. The guy, the guy loves Yeet. I'm like, every time I see him, number one thing, "Yo, fam, remember what you said about Yeet?" And he's like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> it's just like that hype beast mentality, man. Yeah, I know. But for me, even even if it's something like I, it has to be something I like from the start, Loki. Yeah, I feel like there's only a few things that really grow on me, and then I really, really love. Mm-hmm. But the things I love from the start, I'll love forever. Like I'll love a lot. True. Right. So if somebody puts something on, and then like, like give me an example. Like when you put play with Cardi first time. Yeah, it was yeah. weird. It was weird. It was it was weird. Right. It was weird. Yeah. And then I'm like, I still th- I still think play with Cardi's like. It's not even that great. Yeah, yeah. It's it's good music. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. It's a vibe rather than a good song. It's ra- it's a vibe rather than good music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's more of like the experience mm-hmm. than the music itself. You know? See, yo, <laughs> facts. No facts. That's what it is. It is because I remember um Playboy Cardi was t- talking about in an interview. Mm-hmm. He's like, I love going to Asia because they don't understand like. Some of them don't understand my lyrics. Yeah, they just vibe. They just vibe out mm-hmm. to, to the sound. Yeah, to the sound yeah, yeah. of it. And like Loki, that's that's the whole listening thing about Playboy Cardi. That's why you f- some people f- can smoke to Playboy Cardi because all they want to do is just like vibe. Oh out, yeah, yeah, you know? I get, I get that. They're I not. They're that. not looking for lyrical, spiritual miracle. Like yeah, what? yeah, yeah. I guess you. I guess you. Like come on. Just like um, have you watched Cowboy Bebop or not? Nah, a bit. You watch a bit. So yeah. a lot of people they don't like it, right? A lot of people it's like it's like a it's a mid it's a mid anime to yeah, them. It was slow. But but the people that like it they like it because of the vibe. They don't watch it because it's like a sick anime. Yeah. They watch it because of the feeling, like the the ambience, you know. That's what fam. That's why story um fairy tale. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> Yo, stop, stop. I hate fairy tale, fairy bro. Tale I such, hate fairy tale. Fairy tale man. is probably the vibe anime out there I'm, I'm gonna be completely fairy honest tale. fairy fam the v- I, mean, I didn't watch enough I watched like two episodes I didn't like the it the setting no but the setting it puts you in it's just like <laughs> it puts you back like you're a kid I guess like like there's a cat talking to you fam I'm not about fairy tale bro I'd rather watch fucking Babar you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> The OGs know what that one is. Babar, I love I know it's Babar. So, like Bernstein Bears, fam. <laughs> Bernstein Bears slapped. Don't oh, sleep yeah. on Bernstein Bears. Bears. What was the turtle one? Franklin. Oh, yeah. Franklin. Franklin. I, I think um there was a really depressing scene in Franklin. Remember the snail? The yeah, snail yeah. in Franklin? So he was like, he was like, oh, it takes me two weeks to get to school. So I have to leave a month before. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> And then Did they put that in Franklin? <laughs> And then Franklin's like, Franklin's like, oh <laughs> shit! And then like he hops on the bus. He hops on the bus with like without the snail. <laughs> I think I remember that. Actually, I think I remember that. And like the title of it was like this. I don't know. I, I thought it was gonna be like Deception or something. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> well, that's low key kind of sad. You remember um, Arthur? Oh yeah, Arthur. I loved Arthur. Arthur was Arthur yeah. was sick. Even the theme song was sick. Oh yeah, it's that's the most iconic one. It's like. 
Waking up and then you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, so I heard this theory about Arthur, bro. No, no, no. There's a theory. So this was jokes, bro. Yeah, this yeah. was jokes. <laughs> so there's a theory yeah. that the bunny Buster, yeah, yeah. his dad is actually a human and he's a furry and he's living and blending in with all the animals that live <laughs> in that universe, bro. <laughs> So listen, a, listen, listen. Furry? Look at the picture of, of Buster's dad. Look at Buster's dad. He has glasses. He's looking just. Hold on, I have to see. He's an older Caucasian man wearing glasses, fam. <laughs> and bunny ears, fake bunny. I'm telling you. Bro said he's an older Caucasian man. He is. Look, look, look. Hold on. I didn't notice that, fam. Hold on. Look! <laughs> this yo, guy has okay. a full hair, bro. Look. Oh, <laughs> yo. Yo, don't forget to put pictures on there. Yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> what the f? I yo. <laughs> That's I, fake bunny ears. Really tell me that's not fake bunny ears, fam. <laughs> Come on, and then look at Buster's mom. Wait, they're both they're both furries. No, Buster's mom is a real bunny. What? Buster's mom is a real bunny, bro. Nah, Loki. She that's Loki just makeup. No, look, Buster's mom's a real bunny, but Buster's dad. <laughs> okay, a hundred percent. Buster's dad is a human because he yeah, has a hairline. <laughs> this guy has a hairline. Why doesn't Buster have hair? What Feel me? Heck? So he's he's Ash. He's a he's a furry, bro. Yeah. He's a furry. He just like assimilated into the into the animal kingdom, ew, ew. and he's just hiding. Wearing the fake bunny ears, bro. So that means he had to F a bunny, fam. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he has to. But Buster would look different. But No, he wouldn't have. Because it's a mix. A human. Remember Ash? With <laughs> with Pokemon and, and, oh. and... He's just a mix. Oh, yeah. He is a mix. Ew, bro. <laughs> That's looking a disgusting one. <laughs> that ruined Arthur. That, that oh, would right? definitely ruin Arthur. That would definitely ruin Arthur. <laughs> But it's a good theory because we're all the ones I remember Arthur were all old enough to to uh, to get that one, you know. Yeah, that's true. No, but like I don't know why, but I didn't remember seeing Buster's dad a lot. That because he's hiding, bro. He's in hiding. Fuck, that's I didn't why. Realize that, bro. What what is Arthur anyway? What is he again? I think he's an ant eater. He's an ant eater. No, ant eaters have noses though. Nah, and they? yeah, don't they have like the trunk? Yeah, what shit? is then? What is Arthur then? I mean, he's not. The, I actually want to search this up real okay, quick. Okay, yeah. I'm actually really curious. What is Arthur? <laughs> what is Arthur? I accidentally put arthritis. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah. Ardevark. It's Ardevark. What's that? It's like, um, it's an animal. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even think, bro. Wait, well, then what's DW? DW's Ardevark too. Is his sister. No, no, no. The girl. Oh, no. Pene what is it? Penelope? I think she's an Ardevark too. Oh, no. She's a, she's a ram. A she's a ram. She's not a ram, bro. She has horns. Where do you see horns, fam? Oh, she, no. She's an Ardevark she, she's too. A, she's an anteater. She's not an anteater. She's an anteater, fam. Bro, okay. anteaters have trunks. No. And eaters have trunks. Are you dumb? If, if you were an Arthur, you would be a well. What's like the mean? You would be like a crocodile. <laughs> Relax. No, that, that's perfect. That's actually perfect. A crocodile? Yes. Maybe. Yeah, you would be like a walking crocodile. See, and you had this type of nose, bro. What? This guy's shaped like a pencil. Okay, yeah, I guess, man. This guy's shaped like a vacuum, still. <laughs> Look at his tongue. Okay, yeah, never mind. Never it's mind. not Ar Arthur's Ar Art of Arc. That's what it is. I've Arthur the Art of Arc. Yeah, I've never heard of the Art of Arc. Do you remember? Um, do you remember that kid? Um, who? Uh, it was like it was a white kid. It was yeah. a white ginger kid who was like, "Oh fuck, Daniel this, Cook." Daniel Cook. Ah. <laughs> there, and and there was a, there that's was a Canadian a, classic. Yeah, though. and there was a remix of a girl, Emily Young. Emily Young. Yeah, I know Emily that Young. one. Have you seen them? Yeah. Have you no? Have you seen them like now? Oh no. No, I haven't seen them either. But like, I I know like usually the stars of like they fall off. They fall off like or crazy. like they go down some yeah. dark paths. Uh, yeah. Like Cully Culkin back in the day. <laughs> oh my goodness! Because I watched some um, Karate Kid again because mm. it finally showed up on Netflix. Yeah. And then I watched it again and. You know the the girl that uh, J uh, Jaden Smith had a crush on in the movie? Yeah, yeah, the Chinese girl. Yeah, I, I hunted her down on Instagram. Yeah, and she's not even like popping no more. Oh, where? Yeah, she only has like maybe I, she only had that one movie. I was like, damn, her, her thing, her thing didn't blow up. Like she was. Like, I get her on the podcast. I lied. <laughs> she was stay good. away from us. <laughs> she was goaded. You know that line? <laughs> All of us stay away from us. Oh, the, oh, the the bully? Yeah, it's like stay away from us. But the bully, remember the the bully kid? He's in Shang Chi. Oh, is he? Yeah, you don't you don't. Remember Remember? Nah, I don't remember. No, he was a he's in Shang Chi as a as a double, I think. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, that's sick. So that that I was I was searching all of them up. I'm like, yo, okay, that, at least that guy didn't fall off. That's a real. But color. I hated that kid before. Why? That kid got on my oh, nerves. Oh, because yeah, he was yeah. annoying. He was yeah, annoying. Yeah, yeah. I think I hate the most are like the char the evil characters with yeah. glasses. Anytime there's Why? an evil character with glasses, I think it's because Scott Pilgrim, bro, or any anime. You know that Tokyo Revengers? Yeah. Um, Kizaki. Bro, I, I hate this guy with is. my soul, fam. Why, why? Just look at him. 
it, it, it's just it's just something with the glass. You know the glare, oh. the glasses. You know that anime glasses glare. Yeah. Anytime I see that, I get so teased. Look, 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 look. look. So you're, you're telling you're telling me this guy doesn't look menacing. Okay. Like yeah. he looks like a. Yeah. I, I hate I, I him already. That. Just looking at the picture. Okay. From from looking at him, I'm gonna try and describe him. Is he nonchalant? No, no, no. Oh, he's no, not no. nonchalant. He's not nonchalant, but he's in the shadows. He's okay. in the shadows. That's those are all the the characters with the glasses. They're always yeah, in the shadows, like, like the smart ones, bro. There, there's another character in, in Alice in Borderland. I, I know you haven't watched it yet. I didn't finish it yet. Okay, but, oh, you haven't. But you I didn't started finish. it. I started it. So there was a guy in the gray Nike Tech. I don't, with, I don't remember. I don't with, remember. With the with the uh, blonde hair, and he was like, he was like, always talking is like, oh, these guys are probably gonna die. I'm gonna be good though. <laughs> you said in an anime voice. <laughs> Really? <laughs> that sounded like real yeah, anime. Yeah, no, but he's literally like an anime character because he's so like nonchalant yeah, when he yeah. kills people. He's like, oh, he's going to die next. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> and like he he survives. The, oh, no, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Yeah, yeah. But he's like, they hate him just because of his nonchalantness. Like mm. his, his his not caringness pisses off other people. You sounded like Shikamaru. That's what you sounded like for a second. Oh, from really? Naruto. Really? What a drag. <laughs> For a quick second, a I, I should I should just I should go as like Naruto. Naruto. Oh yeah, Naruto. <laughs> I remember I got I got fucking the anime fans got cheesed at me one time. No, I was cheesed at Michael B. Jordan. Why? How are you gonna have a whole coach line yeah. based on Naruto? Say Naruto is your favorite anime, yeah. and then call it Naruto. Naruto. What the? Straight up. You really call it Naruto, bro? When did he say an interview? He said that on GQ. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were like, oh, what's your favorite anime? Yeah. Oh, Naruto. And then it's like, what What are you talking about? Naruto, bro. <laughs> they and didn't stop him? He said, he, no, he said, um, I watched like the whole season, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, it was very sad at the end, blah, blah, this yeah. and that, right? I'm like, how are you going to say that? No, he said he even watched it when he was a kid. That shit came out in the 90s, bro. Yeah, so he was capping. He was capping. He was capping. <laughs> this guy said he watched it when he was like 12. That shit was in the 90s. This is, he's a little bit older. He was capping, bro. He was capping. And, and that's funny, too, because a, a man... a man, People people were saying that I didn't watch extracurricular because I got I got it wrong. I mixed it up. He didn't sell drugs. He 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 did some next, like, trafficking thing. And I actually did watch it. I just got mixed it up. <laughs> okay? So I'm not capping when I when I say he moved it. It was just a... Just the trail. It was, it, was, <laughs> it was a trafficking thing. But, but Loki, good thing I said it was about a guy selling drugs. Why? Because... Cause you connected it. You connected it <laughs> to your drug story, and that was a good story. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But but like Loki, this podcast because I I've gone around and talked to more people like downtown. Mm -hmm. Just just uh, moving from topic to topic yeah. is getting way easier. It's easy. It's easy. Yeah. But the only problem is the harder parts is like when you really want to put something together. Yeah. I because uh, whenever I have like a list of stuff I want to say like a story. Yeah. I hate just like oh did you know and then and then like yeah, oh do you know yeah I want to connect it so yeah. every time that's why you guys see anytime I bring something up I yeah. always try to connect it right away. Yeah, I know. Because that, that's what I really want to be sick at. You and know what I mean? Good, yeah, I know. And I feel like I'm improving too because like now it's we can just flow like that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. yeah, 50 episodes, fam. That's like what? Five five 5,000 hours of talking. <laughs> is it? Oh, shit. That's got to be a lot. No, 500. I mean, wait. No, because each episode is like an hour. Hour 60. <laughs> Pause. Wait. 60 times... We're shit at math. <laughs> wait, 50 episodes, 50 hours. So it's like going to be like 55 hours, isn't it? Hold on. 60... 60 times 50. Yeah, 3,000. I was almost correct. Wait, what's it again? So 60 so yeah. hours times 50 episodes. So 3,000. Oh, you know, he said hours though. You didn't say minutes. Minutes, you mean. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. You're 6,000 right. hours. Yeah, you're right. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I the, the guy. You're the CPA fam. <laughs> no, but did, did you <laughs> did you know um, about that kid trying to uh, scam the baby? Oh, yeah, yeah, when yeah. When he was like, <laughs> the baby was like, oh, how much for the box? He's like, 200 for the box, man, please. I know. He's like, and the baby's like, how much candies are in there? Like 30, man. How much you sell each? <laughs> like $2. Bro, because the baby's smart, right? Yeah. Like, he's not just going to give it out for free. Like, he's going to respect the hustle as long as you're real with him. Yeah. But he wasn't real with him. That's why he lost it out. Yeah. Lost out. I would have done the same thing, man. Like, if they're rich, fam, I would rather try. Mm. Rather try to scam than, than go out with, like, the actual amount. <laughs> I guess. I guess so. But the baby's too smart. You have to put some respect on him, especially yeah. a man like that. Yeah, true. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> I seen something in um uh you know Young and Dundas Square yeah in like the big square some guy put on a bl blindfold and he was like doing this social experiment he was like would you rather choose love or money and he put roses down or money okay fam I'm not picking up a uh it doesn't matter about the principal fam <laughs> I'm if it's free money I'm choosing the money that's probably the dumbest like experiment that I've is ever a seen. pretty dumb experiment like who's taking a rose well okay 
you. Is it the same price as the money? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, who cares, fam? <laughs> it's, it's not, it shouldn't be, you shouldn't have labeled it choose love or money. It's, would you rather want a rose or $5? Nah, yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that shit was so stupid, fam. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but, ah, uh, yeah, that's right. I seen another one. Somebody, somebody put up like, um, five dollars on a post-it board, right? Yeah, and it's like take one and give it to somebody you need. Okay. But he stood right beside a homeless man begging for money. Oh shit! So people actually came came by, took it for themselves, looked at the homeless man, and kept walking. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Wow, that's crazy to me. There's people like that, but there were some good Samaritans that like yeah took one, gave it to him, took one, yeah. gave it to him. There, there's always the heart. That was a good like experiment for sure. There's there's always a heartfelt story because like you know you've seen those ones where it's like the homeless man goes buys food yeah. or oh no goes buys food for another homeless man. Those ones always get me. Oh yeah, because I'm like damn you you're you're that um you still would help another person even though you're that unfortunate type thing. Because he knows what's up, bro. Yeah, he knows how how hard it is like that. I know like. Some of my dogs like asked me for five dollars when I was broke. I'm like, fam, I need this. <laughs> I need this for lunch <laughs> tomorrow, fam. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. now, but now it's like I don't. I don't even like if if I pay for something, mm-hmm. I wouldn't like. I don't expect anything in return. If you're my dog, mm-hmm. there's no, there's no. Um, oh, you you just gotta pay for that later. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah. Cause like at the same that once once it goes to that, mm-hmm. then it's not even like that's not genuine no more. Yeah, yeah. You have to be careful with people that leech though. Those are the worst, Which man. Ones? The people that leech. I know a lot of people like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> the people that leech, man. Yeah. That that's that's the only thing, especially in high school. When I seen people like move like that, you got to be careful because mm-hmm. you don't want to choose your friends that had those tendencies, you know? Because. Yeah. If they have those tendencies when you're young, when you're older, it steps up from a five dollar thing to a house, you know, to five hundred, you know. Let me get a car. Yeah, that's why you got to be really specific with the people you yeah. put in your circle. Yeah, that's why for me, whenever somebody's like, oh, blah 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 blah, blah. let's be friends, blah blah blah. Yeah, I have to, I have to like look into you still. Yeah, you know exactly. I, mean? I, I like that's that's to say, but like no, because you can't just you can be friends but not close friends. I exactly. Guess. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. There's, there's stages to this shit. Like. Okay, I, I hate those those mans on the internet who like or I I guess I seen on like campus and they're like, yo, you're cool, let's be friends. What? I know, I know, I know. Like, okay, yeah, just yeah. cause just cause you think just I dress you looked cool. at me. Yeah, just because <laughs> you think I dress cool doesn't mean like we can be friends, fam. I know. Like, you might be a dickhead. And that's such a mis- materialistic thing. Yeah, like, that's a mis- materialistic take on it, right? Yeah. It's like you just see me. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, like it's weird, man. Like at least get to know me first. Fam. Yeah, yeah. At least how my ask my how my yeah, day how was some shit like <laughs> what do you eat for lunch you know what I mean true. like yeah you know, I never I would never that's like a pick me oh is that what a pick me is what's no, a no, pick no. me I don't know a pi- I don't know I actually don't know is it like a hype beast like a like a I do things to to make people want I guess it is right it has to be yeah no but have you seen those uh those pick me Asians on TikTok who are like just ripping their shirt off for no I I think there's a <laughs> a, a, a full TikTok account I don't want to say the names but but um they just go in like they're they're known for being like Handsome, yeah, and then they just rip off their shirt from the camera. Oh, but that that shit sells though, man. It does, it Honestly, does. I can't I can't hate on that. I, th- I think they have like twenty two mil. For that shit sells, man. Does, Honestly, I'm not hating. Just keep keep it up. <laughs> keep like it like up. shit. If I rip my shirt, wow, off, wow, you still look like that. Yeah, real keep shit. It up. If if I get if I get uh, if I rip my shirt off and I get twenty two mil, what the. F- that's, <laughs> that's an easy bag. That's easy. It's really hard to hate on those people. Because if you hate on those people, that's just saying like you're jealous. Yeah, exactly. You can't. <laughs> you can't. That's why if, if the career ever falls off, we'll just we'll just start if we'll put up the camera. It's Yo, it's shirt. it's funny. It's funny because I remember I have a TikTok that I saved. I was gonna post it long, long you time ago. Your shirt? No, no, no. It was one of those like you know those um you know how they show a picture of of you and then like the cartoon oh yeah yeah so it was like it was a picture of me and then like an anime character that oh, looked okay. like me yeah. but it was like it looked it actually looked like my body body Your physique, body physique? Yeah, yeah and the, the anime guy was like yeah exact same i might show it to you no homo, but like <laughs> <laughs> no but i was gonna post that right yeah. i was gonna post that so i think back at it Imagine I posted that and then like, let's say it worked. Yeah. I would have went into that route instead of something else. Word. And would, would I have wanted that, you know? What if it was yeah. it was meant for me to not go down that path? Damn. So you just be, but but would you rather be known for looks or like your personality? See, it depends, right? Because yeah. what, what really gets everybody's attention is the beginning like is the look, looks, yeah. is the look, right? But, but like at the same time, it's temporary. You think so? Yeah, because you can... You, there's always a, a prettier boy coming on the internet. No, that's true. That's and you're true. you're gonna get once your pretty stage is over. Yeah. Boom. Next I'm not guy. even pretty like that. First we're of not, all, we're yeah, not yeah, pretty. Yeah. That's why. First of all, but 
I'm just thinking like imagine you went with that direct because look this is this is kind of like a different thing you don't you don't see a lot of this yeah you don't see a lot of this type of content there's more coming out yeah there's more coming out because you know we started the wave fuck <laughs> you feel me fuck just nobody's oh. but anyways <laughs> that's fact. but anyways you see a lot of the regular right mm -hmm. and i feel like if we if we went down that regular path yeah I feel like it would just crash right away. Right. Like it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been something I really wanted to do. And that's mm -hmm. why you see a lot of people, they fall into like the influencer thing. They yeah. get depressed because it doesn't feel like they want to do it anymore. They don't, they're they don't have a passion it. for yeah. it, right? They're just doing it strictly because of views. Because it is a very materialistic thing to, to sell your body, yeah. to sell like your looks, whatever. Mm -hmm. And of course it's good. Like if you love it, do it. Cause that's yeah. really good. But when it comes down, it might hurt your self-esteem. Somebody says something. That's why Dixie D'Amelio is going through it like that. Yeah. People calling her musty and shit. Like yeah. that sucks, man. Cause like you're at, at this point, maybe she doesn't even have a passion for dancing no more. It's like, I got to dance. Cause I got to, I don't content. even think she danced like that. She doesn't dance. She what doesn't does she do? Just, she's just pretty. I think she's Charlie's sister. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> no, 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 no. But she, she, she made content that was off, different though. She, like, she made her own talk show and shit, which is okay. Sick. That's that's fire. Yeah, she made her own talk show. Yeah, this you, and that. you can't hate. You feel me? Exactly. Yeah. But imagine you get you get trapped into like the okay. I don't want to hate on nobody, but like yeah. the, the the staple influencer, you just show your muscles fam but man you got to do it for the bag you feel me mm -hmm. if, if that's your only if that's if that's providing income yeah i'm ripping my shirt off <laughs> i seen this this tiktok this girl was talking about how like all of her weird traits growing up as a kid or in high school ended up being what makes her quote unquote uh sought after because only until like she glowed up yeah because if you think about it, look let's say let's say you were into weird stuff let's say mm -hmm. um let's say you're into archery oh, oh, is you're it like, into like yeah. dungeons and dragons so you know is, what it I mean? like, is it like that stereotypical the weird girl who gl glowed up to yeah, be like yeah, yeah. beautiful exactly yeah. exactly like you look at her and like I'll stay away blah, yeah. blah. <laughs> until like she glows up and it looks pretty and then now her doing all those crazy things yeah. is what makes her even more attractive yeah that kind of sucks man that kind of sucks it no it's, it sucks to me that like they didn't get that before mm -hmm. like well, it's only until somebody pretty does it yeah. and they're like yeah, this is cool now, you know? Oh, yeah. Pretty privilege is a thing, fam. <laughs> it's a thing. It is. it is a thing, bro. I think, I, I forgot if I said this on on, uh, on the podcast yet, yeah. but more times people that look better, mm -hmm. like people with really um, appealing- Face structures and shit face like Face structures. They get higher positions in jobs. They get everything handed to them, bro. 100% fam. Like I'm telling you, that shit, you, you want to go, you want to put that shit in perspective, go to a club. Literally, if you have a booth <laughs> with all your dogs yeah. and there's some pretty girls, they're, they're finessing away that you're getting free drinks, all of that. Mm. If you're a pretty guy, you could do that too. Mm. You could be like, hey, what's up? Like, let me get some free shots. The girl, of course. Yeah, bro. Like that's, that's normal. I know. Uh, but there was this, there was this kid that I seen on YouTube who's an OG follower. Yeah. Like shout out to him. Cause I think he's in like, I don't know, elementary school or high school, like in between there. Mm -hmm. But he had, he's, he, he runs his own podcast just like us. Yeah. And he had his grandma and grandpa tell stories about like their, their Filipino experience. Oh, I think I seen that. I, see, I seen he's, him. He's I seen an him. OG subscriber too. Yeah, like yeah, shout yeah. out him. Mm -hmm. And he got his dad on it. I'm like, yo, this kid's a go fam. Mm -hmm. Like you have to do that too one time get get your like your aunt or something i really want to i really yeah. want to but the only thing i hate i hate bringing my family into the pub that's one thing i don't oh, really okay, like to do yeah, right. i don't like to put people that i love on camera yeah. in the sense it's not because that i don't want them to be exposed to that it's just i don't want them i don't want to feel bad about if yeah. somebody says something shitty about yeah because because it's different if someone says something to you like yeah you're my you're my really close friend but like mm -hmm. it's on to you to take that you know yeah, you're yeah. tough blah blah mm -hmm. yeah. but if it's somebody that really really close like yeah, my so mom or dad they say something like that fact. then like yeah that's too you, personal yeah, that's you, too you personal would catch feelings for sure i would want to fight them you know yeah. what i mean yeah real shit because uh, I'm telling you, if anyone ever outside touches my mom fam, we're scrapping. Exactly, like exactly. Like in public, oh my God. I might yeah, have yeah. to, I might have to sang woo. <laughs> sang woo. <laughs> I might have to sang woo someone fam. Oh no, not sang woo. Yeah, the sang woo. Because he didn't kill anyone. Yeah, he did? Oh yeah, he did, he did. Say Kung say bro. <laughs> Thank you for playing with me. Yo, I don't know why by that scene, the when, when Say Byuk took that girl, I don't know if it was only me, but I thought they were going to kiss. Oh. Is that only me? But did you feel that? Nah. Because like li I was literally editing the podcast while I was looking at it. And I was like, I, I stopped. I'm like, wait, are they about to kiss? Nah. Right? I think so. That gave me, that gave me kissing vibes, fam. I don't, and I know it's not just me. People put it in the comments if you thought that too. Because it was not me. It was just not that, me. That's low key Gavin's inside telling him like what? he wants to be pressed against the wall like that. What? Just like that girl. All right, bro. It's been <laughs> Happy Halloween. So, yo. 
look into that shorty's like that's what Gavin's looking for. Chill, bro. He wants to be he wants to be smacked against a brick wall. Like that. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> after draw, after playing a marble game. <laughs> I have to be specific. Yo, imagine... <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> this guy wants to role play, yo. Role play squid game? So hit him up in the DMs, girls. Just nah, be like, chill. I can play marbles with you. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. Happy Halloween, man. Thank you for man. playing with me. <laughs> yo, end it, bro. End it. All right, thank you for everyone watching. Thank you for tuning in to the special Halloween episode of Jumpers Jump. Yes, sir. If you guys haven't already, check out the links in the bio. Follow us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Subscribe, hit that bell so you guys see the other episodes coming up. Yep. Jumpers Jump out. Deuces.